Hello everyone. Today I will demonstrate how to send and receive string data using our free protocol drivers. To accomplish this, we will set up the appropriate network configuration, design a simple project, and write a very simple macro. The project displayed will allow us to send string data. Let's take a look at our configurations. Within our system parameters, we have our free protocol driver selected. You can find this driver by clicking new device slash server, then select device type. And within our search bar, type free protocol and click search. You will see two drivers listed, the first being our free protocol driver and the second our free protocol server driver. With this being our client-based project, we will be sending data, and so we will select our free protocol driver. The interface type within this example is Ethernet, and we have configured the IP addresses of the HMI we will be using. The port number is listed as 8010, which is what we have configured within our server-based project. Now let's take a look at the objects on the screen. The first object we have is an ASCII text object with a word count of 10. The second object we have created is a function key that will execute our macro. Our macro found within the project tab is extremely simple. We identify our string, use a get data to retrieve the characters we've entered, and then we use our out port command which will send our data to the free protocol server. Switching over to our free protocol server project, you'll notice that we have selected the free protocol server driver. With this driver selected, you'll notice that the port configuration is 8010 as previously mentioned. Looking at the objects on the screen, you'll notice that we now have a numeric object to show the length of data in bytes. If we take a look at our macro, you'll notice a few key differences. We have a fill command to initialize the array, our import command to retrieve our string data, and a set data that allows us to display both our string data and the byte count. Now let's take a look at these projects in action. If you found this tutorial helpful and would like to see more, head on over to our YouTube channel and select the playlist tab. Feel free to check out our website for free demos, user manuals, and more. Thank you for watching.